nakatribe, nandito tayo ngayon sa Bistro Lima. At nasa loob pa rin yan ng Southville Foreign University. And today ay eh, may ginaganap silang function kung saan makakatikim tayo ng iba't ibang cuisines from different countries. Glory. So, should we go in? Let's go! Ang mga tribe! Nandito tayo ngayon sa hot kitchen ng Bistro Lima dito pa rin sa Southville Foreign University. And noong Tuesday nga, eh, nag-start na ang kanilang function na nag-feature ng iba't ibang dishes around the world. Katulad ng Italian, Thai, Japanese at Hawaiian food. Wow, yes, tama ka dyan. Kaya ngayon gagawa tayo ng isang Japanese dish. Yes. At tutulungan tayo ng mga students from S Southville. A. So first we have the chicken. Oh, uh, that's chicken yakitori. Oh, uh, that's basically uh, this one. That's basically the Japanese style of barbecue. Ooh. Yeah. So it's marinated with marine, Japanese soy sauce, and some garlic. Wow. So the next dish we have beef teriyaki. Um, the sauce that uh, we made for the beef teriyaki is garlic paste. So basically, what we did is we sauté garlic, onion, and ginger. And then we add in the pork, then we add soy sauce, and add sesame seeds. Then simmer it for 30 minutes for the beef to be tender. Mm -hmm. Next we have the katsudon, pork katsudon. Basically, um, pork katsudon is made up of pork loin cut. We put salt and pepper on the meat itself, covered it with breadings, then mm -hmm. fried it. So, may kanang gagawin natin yun? So now we're gonna make tuna maki and Meg's gonna make California maki. California maki. We're gonna place the Japanese rice in the nori. For the California maki, we should use crab sticks, then cucumber, and then some mango. So, for the tuna, we just only fill in tuna. Raw tuna. So, you should tuck it in tightly so that it will not scatter. So next week, uh, we're going to cut it with the excess yes, nori. The excess nori. Thank you very much you. sa aming dalawang yeah. chef na tumulong sa amin. Future chef. Yes. And joining us today is one of their head faculty instructors. Sir Edward Di Makulangan. Hello, Hello, sir. Hello. So, uh, first question, sir. Uh, ano po ba ang Bistro Lima? Basically, Bistro Lima is a type of hatchery in which we train our students. Um, we are the only school in the Philippines that actually um, trains our students as early as first year. Wow. Fresh pa, uh, freshmen pa lang training oh, na sila kaga with their kitchen yes. operations. So, that's the concept. At the same time, they need um, to learn both facets um, in the kitchen and in the dining mm -hmm. area. Because uh, in hotel management, po kasi, um, it's you need theory at the same time. Uh, it's important to have actual experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So hands-on talaga yung training program namin dito sa SFU. Mm -hmm. So they rotate. First half of the term, they start in the kitchen, and vice versa. Yeah. They switch. I've heard po na ang Bistro Lima is open lamang sa mga yes, uh, it's. Semi-open to the public, meaning per personal invitation from the school or from um, students, family, relatives, and friends within the S, um, S Gen community. Yes. So, yung ginagawa po nila ngayon, ano po ito? Um, basically, it's under finals and kitchen ops. So, they have themed buffet for four days. Wow. So, what you had is, today is Japanese, the, the last Japanese na. Buffet. We have uh, chicken yakitori, beef teriyaki, pork and sadon, fish tempura. And we have also assorted maki. Mm -hmm. 